changing your life one story at a time. This is the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast with Editor-in-Chief Amy Newmark. Hey, it's Amy Newmark with your daily dose of Chicken Soup for the Soul inspiration to make you simply happy. It's Wow Wednesday, and today I'm going to share a story from Chicken Soup for the Soul from Lemons to Lemonade. This story shows just how strong people can be. And this is one of the things that I've been surprised by in my nine years as editor-in-chief of Chicken Soup for the Soul, just how strong people are when they need to be and how capable they are of finding the hidden blessings in their lives no matter what is happening. Our writers always report that they didn't know how much strength they had until they needed it. And it has reassured me that we all have this capability, this inner reserve of fortitude that we can all call on. Julie Cole and her family certainly didn't know that they were going to have to live through something that is pretty unimaginable. It was May 11, 2011, when Julie's older daughter passed away unexpectedly from an unknown heart condition. It was just four months after she had given birth to her first child, Julie's first grandchild, and Julie's daughter was only 22. Now, the family had been in the middle of all the swirl and excitement of bridal showers and wedding plans for their other daughter, who was getting married the next month. So the first few days after their older daughter's death were just staggering. They were in shock. But somehow they planned the funeral at the same time that they kept working on the upcoming wedding. Julie says this, Through all the grief and emotion that our family was experiencing, we were aware of a chapel that would be filled with wedding guests in a few weeks. We never considered postponing the wedding. We knew that one of the best ways we could honor Ashley was going forward with the plans to celebrate her sister's wedding day. So the Coles found themselves in a surreal mix of planning a funeral and finishing last-minute wedding preparations. One day, Julie was at the funeral home picking out memorial cards, and the next day, she was with Caitlin at her final dress fitting, with tears running down both of their faces. The floral shop was the hardest, because the same florist was handling the floral arrangements for the funeral, and the flowers for the wedding. At some point in all the chaos, Julie half-jokingly remarked that they could have the new baby, Olivia, stand in for her mommy as the maid of honor. So when the day finally arrived, there was not a dry eye as the best man walked down the aisle carrying a beautiful sleeping baby dressed in pink satin from head to toe. That wedding ended up helping the family get through the grieving process, and Julie says that that beautiful June day holds special memories for her as a time of renewal and hope and her family's ability to find joy just three weeks after losing their other daughter. She says the following in her story. If someone had predicted that my husband and I would be giving away our younger daughter in marriage— A mere three weeks after saying goodbye at the grave of our older daughter, I never would have believed them. I never would have thought that I would have the kind of strength required to endure a funeral and a wedding in such a short period of time. I had often heard that during difficult times in our lives, we receive the strength we need just when we need it. And that's why Julie titled her story, An Unexpected Blessing. I'm Amy Newmark. Thank you for listening to the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast. And please share it with your friends and family. Join me tomorrow for Thoughtful Thursday. I'm going to share a story about a woman who realized that she wasn't fully participating in the life around her. And I'll tell you what she did about it. And if you want to read more about the book I mentioned today, Chicken Soup for the Soul from Lemons to Lemonade, please go to our website, chickensoup.com. Visit Chicken Soup for the Soul on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Pinterest and join the 2 million other people who are getting daily inspirational quotes and stories from us. You can also go to our website and sign up for one of our newsletters. We'll send you a free Chicken Soup for the Soul story every day via email.